Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Welcome to Radio Friends. This is Monday. It's May the 13th. I'm glad it's not Friday the 13th. Good to have you with us. And we've, we've got two guests today. And our first one to start with, I haven't seen for four years I now. Know. Pat Riley Twaddle. Good to see it's you again. great to be here, Paul. And uh, you were Director of Career Placement. Career correct? Placement Services. At Moberly Area Community College. Uh-huh. And what is it that you want to tell uh, our, our listeners well, today? Well, what I'd like to tell them is about all the services that we have, and they're all free. We have free vocational assessment and career counseling services for anyone who resides in the 16-county district that the college serves. Okay. So all they have to do is call us, and we can set that up. And we have campuses here in, Mo in Columbia. Mm -hmm. We have a campus in Columbia, in Kirksville, in Mexico, in Hannibal. Oh, so you're spreading out. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're reaching out to the community uh -huh. to help as much as you can. Mm -hmm. What's the phone number they call for more information? It's 660-263-4100. Uh, and to get to me, my extension is 11232. 11232. Okay, mm -hmm. you had an event, was it last month? We have a big job fair every year. We had over 70 exhibitors came and to how our... how did it go? It went great. Even though it rained that day, we had a huge crowd. We invite high school kids from all over. We even provide subsidies for their bus transportation. Mm -hmm. And they can explore careers, you know, network with... Uh, it's not just a job fair, but it's also a college fair. Yeah. And we had about 20 uh, colleges and universities, and they were there to talk to our transferring students because Moberly is a two-year school, mm -hmm. so some of our students, well, the majority of our students decide to go on and finish their degree somewhere else, and yeah. so we had college representatives and lots of businesses. All right, so if people want more information uh, and they want to come and, and be evaluated, what do they need to do? They just need to call my office, okay. and we'll set up a time at the, uh, at the campus closest to them. And there's one other thing I wanted to really talk okay. about. And that's the New Traditions Program, which I also administer. It's a scholarships and grants program, primarily for single moms, uh, people who might have a barrier to educational achievement. We provide a lot of scholarships, a lot of support services, and, uh, and a lot of help for them. So we do two scholarships ceremonies a year. Okay. and. Give them a lot of money. So All right. So again, if people want more information, that telephone number to call is? Is 660-263-4100, extension 11232, or just ask for Pat. All right. So, Pat Riley Twaddle, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. Now I turn to my left, and uh, we have a doctor with us from MU Healthcare, ear, nose, and throat specialist, Dr. Alex Bean. Dr. Alex Bean, yes. and I, I'm so glad to meet you. You've been in in, uh, in Central Missouri for about two years. Mm -hmm. You're from Kansas, but the reason you're here today is dealing with the month, the special events this month, right? May is actually uh, Better Hearing and Speech Month, uh, sort of a, uh, a national awareness type month for uh, for uh, multi multiple disciplines, both uh, speech and language, uh, as well as uh, otolaryngologists, which are ENTs, which is what I do, as well as ear surgeons and audiologists as well. Yeah. So since this is Better Hearing Month, right, mm -hmm. taking care of our ears, what, what is the most important message you want to get across to the listeners about protecting our hearing? Well, yeah, the, the hot topic of, of uh, you know, of the last several years is iPod usage and, and noise exposure and things. I think everyone needs to be aware of protecting the hearing that they have. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we aren't uh, we aren't blessed with the ability to regenerate the hearing we've lost. You know, once those little hairs exactly. are broken, what is there, there's little hairs in your eardrum exactly or in, your ear in, canal in the inner ear. Yeah, in the, in the inner ear, and we we both we lose those hair cells uh, because of age, just the normal aging process, but also uh, from noise induced hearing loss, which is. Uh, um, uh, you know, hearing from uh, hearing loss from being exposed to, to to loud noises for an extended period of time, and again, we don't get that kind of hearing. We don't get that hearing back. Now, once it's gone, it's gone. That's correct. Now, 
the best way to protect your ears in is when you're subjected to loud noise is to have earplugs? Right. Is that going to help? Yeah, there are several different kinds of earplugs. You can wear the kind of earplugs that actually fit in your ear canal. Mm -hmm. uh, you can wear what are called circumoral uh, hearing protection that actually, uh, you know, like the big ear muff type, uh, mm -hmm. type hearing protection uh, devices as well. What about using noise canceling devices, noise canceling headphones? Now, they really do work. They cancel the noise, but are you doing a different type of damage to your ear by using noise canceling? They don't. They don't uh, protect your hearing like 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 the in the ear hearing you know hearing protection does the foam earplugs or the or the uh, over the ear earplugs. But uh, they're more of. Uh, they, they, quite frankly, they don't really protect you against against hearing loss. They it sort, doesn't protect It's more you of a distracting hearing. mechanism. Yeah. But but what it does is it does the opposite sound. Right that is being produced in the environment, correct? Correct. And it cancels it out. Right. Now, I, I bought myself a pair uh, a couple of months ago uh -huh. to, to use, and I was experimenting with them, mm -hmm. and they really do work. Honestly, I've never used them. Yeah, I have, they, they I have friends who have, and they, and they swear by them, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, if you're sitting on the airplane, it totally cancels out yeah. the, the airplane noise. And if you're outside and there, there is ambient noise, you put those things on, turn them on, and you can't hear anything, right. but it's not really protecting your ear because it is a little bit, I guess, just from the fact that they do fit over your ears. But uh, nothing like an insulated uh, uh, hearing protection type uh, type ear muffler. Okay, address young people mm -hmm. listening mm -hmm. about the dangers of the iPod being too loud. You know, it's really a cumulative thing. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we'll go to a loud rock concert or will be exposed to loud noises, maybe it's around lawn equipment or something, and, and you know, you'll have a little bit of uh, what we call a temporary threshold shift. So you may have a little bit of hearing loss for several hours up to a day, you may have a little ringing in your ears. That usually is not a permanent thing. But that hasn't broken the, the, the hasn't, ear? It's done some temporary damage, but not permanent damage. Okay. Uh, when we have a permanent threshold shift, so that's where we're exposed to a certain decibel uh, level, which is how we lev uh, measure uh, sound level, uh, sound intensity. Um, when you're exposed to that for an extended period of time, and what you do you can't, consider it? You can Well, it's, it depends on the intensity of the sound, but uh, anything greater than about 90 decibels for an hour is considered toxic. So, okay. um, and that's a pretty loud sound. But the old uh, the old adage: if your if your earphones are, are loud enough that the person sitting next to you can hear them, it's probably it's too loud. Probably right. too loud. If people, we're we're out of time, doctor. But if people want more information, they can contact you at MU Healthcare. Yeah, they can call the main number. Uh, uh, the main uh, university number or our uh, otolaryngology clinic, the ENT and Allergy Center of Missouri. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much, Dr. Alex Bean. Pleasure having you here. Good Thank talking you. to you. you. Our, uh, let's see. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about uh, recycling. Good for the environment. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Zach Lawhorn. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if there's something you would like to hear or see, please drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. I'd love to hear from you. And, and to watch this or listen to it, kbia.org. Bye-bye.